In this video, we're solving problem 8.5 from Classical Mechanics by John Taylor. Um, the problem deals with the two-body problem, the two-body central force problem, and asks, the momentum P conjugate to the relative position R is defined with components Px equals the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to x dot, and so on. Prove that P equals mu, the reduced mat, mass times r dot, the change in the relative position of the two masses. Prove also that in the center of mass frame, p is the same as p1, the momentum of particle 1, and also negative p2, the momentum of particle 2. Um, great. Given um, is the Lagrangian expressed in terms of the position of the center of mass and the relative position of the two masses. Um, the Lagrangian is equal to 1 half times the total mass m times the change in position of the center of mass plus 1 half mu, the reduced mass, which is, remember, equal to m1, m2 over the total mass m. Um, so 1 half times mu times r dot squared, the change in the relative position of the two masses, plus the potential energy, which is associated with the distance between the two masses. We don't need to know the specifics of that right now. So the first question asks us to prove that P equals mu times r dot. So P is equal to dl d r dot, which for the first term is zero because lowercase r dot does not feature in the first term. For the second term, it is one half mu times two r dot standard derivative. And for the third term, it's zero because this only features r, not r dot. So simplifying, p is equal to mu r dot. Um, that is, the momentum only depends on the change in relative position of the two masses. All right, the second part of the problem asks us to show that this is equal to p1, the momentum of particle 1, and negative p2, the momentum of particle 2. Um, given in the book, and which you can also find from analyzing this diagram, R1, in terms of the position of the center of mass and the relative position, is equal to, not that, equal to the position of the center of mass plus m2 over m times the relative position. Similarly, R2 is equal to the position of the center of mass minus m1 over m times the relative position. In the center of mass reference frame, the position of the center of mass is zero. It's also not moving, but that doesn't matter in this. Then we have r1 equals m2 over m times r. Therefore, the change in r1 is m2 over m times r dot. Similarly, for r2, great. In that case, it's just straightforward to find the momentum of particle 1. It's equal to the mass of particle 1 times its velocity. So that's going to be m1 times m2 over total mass times its velocity, r dot. Guess what that's equal to? The reduced mass, m1, m2 over total m times r dot, which is equal to our original momentum for the system. p2 is equal to the mass of particle 2 times its velocity. I'm sorry, that's negative up there. Its velocity is negative compared to the relative velocity. Okay. That equals the negative of the reduced mass times the relative velocity of the system, which equals negative p. And that's it.